Hello YouTube, welcome back to another video. You join me in the computer room in the attic and today's going to be a video telling all about what's coming up on the Fiesta. Now the next few videos, in my opinion, are going to get quite technical. Um, I'm going to do some things I've never seen anyone else do on the Fiesta um, and we're going to cover some aspects, some things I'm going to learn along the way and I'm going to share them with you. But let's take a look at the new parts I bought and what the plans are and what I'm going to do. So I'll show you the first thing. Right, this is what I bought first of all. Now this is a two-part polyurethane bushin kit. Um, not necessarily sold as polyurethane bushins, but it is the two-part kit. You mix these two together and you can make your own polyurethane bushes. Why am I doing that? Well, I didn't want to spend on a rear engine mount. Um, it's one of them things that everybody says you need, it's going to make a big difference, blah, blah, blah. I didn't want to spend over 100 quid, whatever they are. So I thought, well, I'm going to take the standard one, the standard bush, and I'm going to use this, and I'm going to fill the voids in the standard one, because I'm not really interested in having a solid full mount. So what we're going to do with that, we're going to cast into the voids, and stiffen up the standard one so it's going to be quite a simple process but something that um, you should enjoy watching i'm looking forward to doing so that's going to be something I'm probably going to be the next video where i do that so next what i have bought is some hard race roll center ball joints if i show you these these ball joints you can see there they're a direct fit for the standard one, but they're a lot longer. So whereas the standard one would probably end around about here, say this one's a lot longer. So this is all to do with the roll center geometry. Now I did make a video on roll center. Um, I'll put a little link to that. I done that a while ago, nine months ago. I think the computer's showing since I done that. So you can go back, check that out, understand what that's all about. And that comes with sewer clips as well. That goes into the um say into the wishbone so we're going to be fitting them but in doing so we're going to cause some other possible issues to the steering geometry now the idea of these is to improve handling to change the roll center on the car make the car corner better but you can buy these now these are actually badged for the mazda 2 but they do fit the Fiesta, they've got the same same wishbone. Um, so even though you can buy roll center ball joints, you cannot buy anything off the shelf for bump steer. Now, when you change the geometry of your lower wishbone, you can cause bump steer. I don't know until I do it, if I am gonna run into that, but it's highly likely because I've changed the geometry of the wishbone that I'm gonna get a difference in the bump steer. So, what I've done to help with that is I've made my own bump steer gauge. You can buy them, I think they range from 200 to 500 pounds. I didn't really want to spend that, so I've made my own. I'll put pictures in now. Uh, as you can see, I've made this one out of MDF. Um, I've used the DTI gauge. Um, the picture I'll show you now is where it's just like resting against the wheel. It's just for visual purposes. It's not even set up. So the other piece gets bolted to the hub. And then I've got a series of measurement marks on that. And the suspension will get raised and lowered through its travel. And the DTI gauge will then show the bump steer. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get a reference from the standard suspension first. I'm going to take all the measurements of standard. And I'm going to use that as a, a target to aim for. Now, like I've said, there's nothing I can buy to correct bump steer. So we're going to try, hopefully, if my plan works out, we're going to use a unique method. This has been done many times on other cars. I'm not the first person to do this. I haven't seen it on a Fiesta. I'm hoping it can be done. But this is what we're going to do. And my plan involves these. Now these are bolts. This is a steering rack bolt, and that's the standard one. And that is one that is 15 mil longer. 
Now the plan is, I'm going to raise the steering rack on spacers. I'll use a series of washers to incrementally raise the steering rack as I'm taking bump steer measurements and that's going to be how we're going to go about correcting it. Like I've said, I've never seen it done before in Fiesta. I'm hoping the steering rack can be raised up to 10 or 15 mil without running into problems. The steering column is telescopic. Um, it's a little bit complicated to explain. Once we do the video, you'll get a better understanding. But if that all goes to plan, the ultimate goal is to have a much better handling Fiesta. It should be far superior to, um, to a standard one. So that's the plan with that. Right, then we get into my next purchase, Super Pro bushes. All right, so let's take a look at these. All right, so this is just a front kit. Um, just to show you, I bought these from Rival Motorsport. They've been great in helping me outsource these parts. So I got the hard race wishbones from them and um, the Super Pro bushes. So I'll put a link in the description to Rival Motorsport. Thank you very much. Right. So what have we got then? First thing is the front control arm in a front bush kit. So let me just show you these. Now I could have gone for Power Flex. I decided to go for Super Pro. Purely because I know a few people who are running these bushes and then encounter problems with power flex, but we'll talk about it in a minute. So these are what they call like the the cotton reel style. Um, so that's just them two. Pretty simple really. Inner tubes and grease, nothing special about them. Um, but these these are the special ones. Now these are uh, the, the inner control arm, rear kit. And these are caster bushes. So let me pull these out, show you what I got. <clears throat> this one I just propped together yesterday, but they come in pieces like that. That's your main bush. Two outer parts, you're in the sleeve. And as you can see, the hole is off center. You see there? And that is because you can use this to gain caster. Now, caster is king when it comes to suspension geometry. The more caster, the better. It increases your dynamic camber. Like say, if all this stuff is too confusing, if you don't understand roll center, bump steer, caster, then I could try and explain it to you, but I'd probably confuse you more than explain it. So I understand it to a certain point myself. But to actually put it into words is hard. So go Google it, look on YouTube, loads of videos, some really good videos. I think Engineering Explained, Kyle Drives, there's a few good videos out there in suspension drum. Go and look them up. Right. So I looked this up last night and they call this something like a top pivot bush or, or something like that. And how this works, I can't get that off. But anyway, if you look into the bush, you can see that it's not a complete straight tube. So when this is in, this can then sort of pivot in the bush like that. Like I say it's also a caster bush with off center. So how you position that will push the wishbone out and increase the caster. I think it should increase the track width fractionally as well. We are talking millimeters, but every, every little helps. So when we get to fitting them, I'll explain more about that. You'll get to see all of that done in depth. And like I say, with the um, the power flex that you can buy, I know of two people, um, Tom Porter, Rob Chappell, the uh, well-known Fiesta scene, um, and they've told me about how they have dropped out of the wishbone and caused them no end of problems. I'm hoping that don't happen with this. That's a fully made up um, with the little washer bits now i think the idea is with these 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 retain the grease because like this once that's in you can see it doesn't completely fill the void because it swivels and they obviously they take up the 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 space so i'm hoping when this is clipped into the wishbone or pressed in that it doesn't move now i know what tom done was he actually tack welded his power flex one to the wishbone with four well tacks all the way around. I'm tempted to do it with this. 
I'm going to look into it more. But the last thing you want is for that to move. Um, I chose these because I thought hopefully it's a better design. But considering it's just a press fit, I'm still have slight concerns. So will I tack well or not? I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Right, so that's pretty much it. But while we're here, let me tell you a little story about stupid Steve. You see the palm of my hand? A nice little cut on it. Now, Ethan, my nephew, has got a BMW 1 series. He phones me up the other day and said his spring have snapped. It snapped in such a way it had gone down the shaft, the, the strut, wedge between the wheel, car was undrive. We had to repair it on the side of the road. Now, while we were trying to spring compress and spring clamp to get the new one on, it popped off. It, it was a bit of a nightmare, to be honest. Though. So I was using an impact gun on the spring compressor. Now, because it was fully closed when it popped off, I had to... Um, release it. It wasn't quite fully closed. It was about that much gap between the two pieces. I put a gun on it, held it in the palm of my hand to um, to release the thread down the shaft, but only my gun was on tighten. So as you can see in this picture, which I just put the spring compressor on to show you, it tightened, pinched my blinging skin in between in it. So I've been like a cripple for a couple of days, but I'll man up, don't worry. Right. So that is everything that's coming up on a Fiesta in the next few videos. We've got a lot of time on our hands. I'm in self-isolation, unable to work. So we've got lots of time to crack on the Fiesta. We've got lots of time but no money. But thankfully I ordered and bought all of these parts before all of this crisis stuck. So I hope you're all safe and well. Hopefully we can make some good videos because like I say I've got quite a bit of time on my hands coming up. And let's look forward to better times. So stay safe, stay well. I'll see you all in the next video.